Hey friends, welcome back to Millennial Realtor Monday. Woo woo! So today's topic, we're talking about the top seven things to expect when getting an inspection. So I'm gonna give you a checklist of seven things to look for when you get that inspection report so you know what you are looking at because it's a 34 page uh, document and most people don't know what the heck it even means. So I'm gonna break it all down to you. So make sure you stay to the very end so you know where to find that checklist, okay? All right, oh, and if you're new here, I'm Kira Ford. My channel talks about real estate tips and tricks, dance fitness go-tos, and much, much more. All right, now let's jump into it. So number one thing to expect when getting an inspection is, I want you to think of maintenance. So maintenance is where, um, let's just say you're getting a single family home. A single family home is gonna have maintenance issues, which means like caulking, like they didn't, uh, they didn't maintain the caulking of the house. Also another maintenance issue is the gutters. Some homes don't have gutters. Um, that is something that the inspector would flag, saying, hey, you need gutters because you want when it rains, for the rain to go through the gutters and to go to the street. So that's another thing that an inspector will say. Um, I think that having this checklist kind of prepares you to know what to expect because a lot of people get the inspection and they get nervous and they just want to terminate the contract. Just know that there's going to be no perfect home even with new construction and I do advise you to get an inspection even if you're getting a new construction bill because they miss things too. I've also had um, uh, a client where they bought new construction, we did an inspection and uh, on the new construction and one of the pipes had been busted when they had built. So an inspection, no matter what you're getting, um, either new construction or pre-owned, okay? So that was the first thing, maintenance. So just, uh, uh, just know that caulking and gutters, um, what's some other examples? Um, things that um, just haven't been kept up well. So know that they're gonna put that on the inspection list, okay? The second thing would be defects. So that's another thing that the inspector would have on the inspection is what is a defect? So a defect could be, you know, the water heater is old or the AC is old. Um, even sometimes the garage doors are old. So just know that that's not something that is like a red flag as long as those things are still functioning, okay? Now, if they're not functioning, that is something that we would ask for the sellers to fix prior to moving in. So just know that. Also, another thing that I didn't mention on the maintenance part of uh, the inspection to look for is to look for like trees because their inspectors are gonna have to tell you if a tree is touching the house. Um, you, they don't want any trees, any wood touching the house because that's when you know termites and you know pests and all that stuff can get on your home and can you know eat your home or make your home deteriorate faster than it should. All right, so the third thing that I would say that needs to go on your checklist is code. So think of when the inspector sends the report, there's gonna be a lot of things that say, oh, this is out of code, this is out of code. So just know, any home that is not built in 2021 or whenever you're watching this, um, it's gonna be out of code. But that home had to be in code to be sold. So just know that um, the real code things that you should look for are the electrical panel, making sure that the electrical panel um, is it gonna catch on fire by itself because there are some that are scary like that. And another code issue would be the GFCI uh, plugs. Um, you wanna make sure that they are by all water sources, which are like by your sinks and um, in your kitchens and in your restrooms because those are things that you definitely want to have so you can reset and uh, just in case the plug is not working. So just know if you see on the, you know, the inspection report, some things that are out of code, just know that those are the top things that are really the big issue that we would ask a seller to fix, okay? Moving on, and the fourth thing is something that I kind of talked about, which is things that are not functioning. So if something is not functioning, that is something that we will for sure ask the seller to fix. So let's just say, you know, the garage door is messed up, but it still works. That's not something necessarily we would ask the sellers to do. We could, um, it just depends on um, really the market and if this is a multiple offer situation. But if the garage door is not working at all, that is something that the sellers would need to fix. So something that is not functioning is something to look for on the reports that, um, that the inspector sent over. So the fifth thing that you would need to um, really take into consideration when you get that report is 
what lender requirements, uh, lender requirement repairs. So if there's any issues with the roof, the foundation, any mold, any termites, that is red flags that uh, where lenders will not want to lend you money to buy a home. So just think about that and of course the the inspector will notify you letting you know hey it looks like it could have ter termites so get someone out do a pest inspection also get someone out to look at the roof and if they feel like there's foundation issues they will also let you know that so you can get an engineer to come out and tell you what you can do to move forward if you decide to move forward um, so those are big things um, those are big factors when it comes to uh, you know getting that inspection report, so that fifth thing. So let's move on to the sixth. The sixth is things that are not present or inhabited, which means that if you went there, you couldn't live in the house. So let's just say you get there and uh, the window, all the windows are gone. You don't wanna buy a house that has no windows because you couldn't live in it, okay? Also, you couldn't buy a, you couldn't buy a house that, you know, the roof is gonna fall down. So um, that's another thing that they will put on the report to look for. Now, these are things that we would, obviously ask the seller for um but definitely i would not advise you to make an offer on a home <laughs> that we've seen that the roof is falling down and the foundation seems like it is going to cave in so typically i don't have those issues but you just you just never know so expect the, unexpe the unexpected <laughs> okay moving on to the seventh and last tip when it comes to in expecting for what an inspection is going to tell you that's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Okay, so the last thing is cosmetics. So this is a big thing. This is where um, a lot of buyers kind of get confused because they'll give you a list. Like I said, the report is anywhere from 24 to 30 pages. They're gonna give you a list of things that are wrong with the house. That is their job, to find something. So they're gonna find stuff. So just know when it comes to cosmetics, which is like paint, which is like, you know, carpet, which is like somewhat caulking too. Um, which is like things that you want to fix on the house. So I always say, when it comes to cosmetics, I don't mind asking for, you know, for sellers to repair, but just keep in mind or be mindful that a seller is going to fix those things as if they were not living in the house. So you don't necessarily want to ask a seller to fix paint or caulking or, you know, replace carpet because they're going to replace it as if they're not living there. You want to more ask for a concession, so money towards closing, so you're able to go and do those things yourself. So those are the top seven things to think about when having a inspection, okay? Because a lot of people get really nervous when it comes to the inspection. So, I hope this helps. I also have a link below in my, um, in my <laughs> description that you can click on where you can print out this checklist of what to expect during an inspection. I hope this has helped you guys, brought you so much value. You know my mission. My mission is to help millennials and first time home buyers create that generational wealth by buying one home at a time. Um, so I hope that if 2021, it's your goal to buy a house, you choose me as your real estate agent. I'd be more than happy to help you through the whole process. All right guys, well I love you. And guess what? I'll see you next Monday. Woo woo Mwah. Oh my gosh, there she is. It's Kira Ford. Kira Ford, you don't know what? What? You never heard? Oh my gosh, she's played every time.